Now more than ever, I wish I'd never been born a wolf. Or at least, just for one night. I wish I could be human. They all sound like they're having the time of their lives at the Autumn Festival. Meanwhile, I can't even attend. <laughs> I just don't have smell anywhere. My love. And she brought some of that cranberry apple coffee cake that I've been hearing everyone talk about. Good evening, pumpkin. It's great to see you again. <laughs> All right. It's great to smell you again, my dear. Oh, my love. I want nothing more in this moment than to hold you in my arms. You say such sweet words. If only I could gaze upon your face and watch you mouth those words with your beautiful lips. I wish I could cut my hands against your cheeks, but alas, my claws. Is there anything that would make me feel better? Well, there is one thing that would help, but it's, it's impossible. I've known it's impossible all this time, and yet I can't help but be jealous of those who get to live freely in the village. What I mean is, tonight is the last night of the Autumn Festival. And I've overheard people from the village talk about how the festival is a good experience. For people who are together in the way that we are. How am I hearing all of that? After the festivities, there are a lot. There are many who are a bit inebriated. And they tend to stray quite close to the forest edge. So I really want to go to the festival tonight. But because I'm a wolf, someone would surely call for Huntress if I did. There's something I don't know about the Autumn Festival. And what's that, Pumpkin? <laughs> the villagers like to dress up. <laughs> dress up how exactly? Costumes. <laughs> Wear clothing and pretend to be something or someone you aren't. <laughs> that sounds really fun. <laughs> it just makes me want to go even more. <laughs> yes, I know I can't go, but... A wolf can dream, can't he? You have a surprise for me. Reach out my hand. All right, pumpkin. This... This is clothing. <laughs> you got me a costume. Pumpkin. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you. Yeah, all right. I'll put it on right now. This uh, outfit is very intricate, my love. <laughs> the ropes hide my tail. And you can't even see my ears with all this stuff on my head. And this mask. <laughs> yes. Yes, I love it, but I don't have any idea who I'm dressed up as right now. A starkeeper? <laughs> you don't think that's uh, 
A little strange to dress up someone almost on the same level as the moon goddess is. Wouldn't the gods be upset about something like this? <laughs> they see it as appreciation, huh? If that's the case, then I'd be honored to wear such an outfit. Does this mean that you also have an intricate outfit to wear for the festival? Oh, you're already wearing it. What is it that you decided to wear? A costume of the moon goddess herself. If the moon goddess was a woman like you, I think even I dare speak to her. What would I say? Hmm. Well, more than anything, I suppose I'd ask if there was a possibility to get rid. Rid of this curse that keeps us apart from the villagers. Yes. That's all I want. It is the most important thing to me in this world. If not for this curse, then nothing would stop me from holding you close. For as long as time would allow. Wouldn't you like a life like that too, Pumpkin? But for now, we have to make do with what we have. Is there any way for me to be close to you like this? You have a length of ribbon that we can tie to our wrists. <laughs> then we can be close together, like couples in the village. And with this mask, perhaps my vision will be obscured enough for me to control my bloodlust. You're so intelligent, my Just another one of the many things that attract me to you. I know that there's no guarantee that this will work. But the fact that you put in the effort is enough. And I will do my best to fight my bloodlust if I get the urge to rip into someone. Hmm? Oh yes, my hand. Please, excuse me. I almost forgotten. Oh, you're finished. Then I suppose it's time the two of us go out on the town. As they say. Huh, yes, I... I'm fine. No, 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 we don't need to turn back. I'll be fine. Really. I promise I'm not lying, Pumpkin. I can handle it. So please, let's just go and enjoy this night together. Besides, if anything happens, I'm certain you can fix it. <laughs> you know the answer to that already. It's because you're you. And being you means that you're smart, kind, and the most precious treasure in this world. And you know me well enough to know what would snap me out of my bloodlust. Uh, we couldn't do that. If <laughs> we touched, then... <sighs> Let's just take a look around. There's so many stalls around here. What do you want to try doing first? Me? What What do I want to do? Well, uh, I think maybe it would be nice to eat first. Everything around here smells so good. I can't help but want to try everything. Too much money. <laughs> Sorry, dearest. But I have no idea what that is. But if we can't try everything, 
I think I'd just like to try the foods that you'd recommend. <laughs> if that's okay with you, of course. No? <laughs> you say you have something special to eat with you. Mm, what makes it so special? <laughs> it's something that you've made. Oh, is that why you've been so busy lately? You truly never cease to amaze me, my love. <laughs> why don't we play a game or something instead, then? People play games at festivals, don't they? I think I read it once in a book. <laughs> that one looks interesting. Let's go do that one. <laughs> Look, you won. You did a really good job. Though, is a win against me really that surprising? I didn't exactly know how to play this game. It's not an excuse. Let's just go and... What's going on over there? Can, can we go see? Dancing. People are dancing over there. Do you want to go dancing with me? I think it'll be fun. <sighs> Rabbit over there. <sighs> don't. Don't touch me. I don't want to hurt you. <laughs> no, you don't understand. I will hurt you if you touch me. I know what I said, but when you... <laughs> Even with all these precautions, I can't help it. I'm sorry, Pumpkin. You must be so disappointed right now. I thought I was fine. But then I saw that rabbit and uh, my instincts got the better of me. I think it's just best if I go. You don't have to go with me if you don't want to. You should enjoy yourself tonight. Instead of all this. You don't mind having to leave. Really. You aren't just saying that to make me feel better, are you? <laughs> That's good to hear. <laughs> I don't think I'd be able to forgive myself if I ruined your night. It was a good effort though, my love. I really did appreciate that you tried so hard to find a way that we could have a good time without worrying about my bloodlust. I just wish that it would have worked for longer. <laughs> you think that the only solution would be if I couldn't see it all. I suppose you're right. But I wish things were easier. You're right. We knew things weren't going to be easy between us. But that doesn't mean that I'm not willing to endure the hardships. You're worth every ounce of pain I'll have to feel, Pumpkin. You know, I can still sort of hear the music from here. With that being said, would you care for a dance? I'll keep you safe. As long as we stay fabric to fabric. And as long as I don't look your way. You should be safe. Yes. I suppose you're right. You may not be able to look my way either, but it would still be worth it to be close. Even if just for a fleeting moment. <sighs> my apologies, Pumpkin. <laughs> I believe I was hungrier than I originally thought. 
And why don't we take a break and enjoy the food you brought along together? She could never know that. I had that urge again. Because her smell is so enticing. <laughs> huh. Oh, that <laughs> looks great. He must have worked hard on that. Come on, let's eat. <laughs> 